The date is December 12th, 2010. I'm on a mission to find the book that is said to cure the U.S. economy from all of its doubts and all of its terrors. We have a lead as to where it is, but now we think we may have found it. This is what I've been looking for for 5,000 years. Yes, of course, that's exactly how we do it. Oh, so I, have under I still understand that you have discovered something. Yeah, something very interesting with uh, money. Why? May, may I interview you later today? Oh, yeah, of course. See you, see you later. Hello, my name is Mr. Money Money, and this is the Money 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 Show. Today, I have a guest named Mitch. Oh, Mr. Prentice, I have understand you have discovered something. Yes, I have, Justin. It's this book, and I think it could change everyone's lives. Very interesting. Can you lay this book out for us? Yes, uh, of course I can, Justin. Chapter one is about these people named the Mick in in Tiris? I don't really know how to say their name. But it's, um, to start off with, it's about this man, and he meets these people who can um, say that they are the, what we'd say, automatic millionaires. And then it goes on to explaining how we do this. Very interesting. So what is the first thing that they do? Well, according to them, the first thing that you do is master the latte factor. For example, take this for example. What, what, what is this? What is, what, this is a cup of coffee, right? A right. cup of coffee? Tasty coffee. You get one of these maybe every morning, and maybe, uh, a candle. You might get a candle every morning. That's four dollars a morning. If you add that up for every morning in the year, that adds up to mucho money. Because this means mucho. And uh, so you just cut all that spending, and you know how much money you're saving a year. You're saving a lot. Let's move to the next thing. Okay, Justin. For uh, number three, chapter three here. Um, it's about paying yourself first. Let's take for example, you make, I don't know, three thousand a month. Okay, you could take all that money and put it into taxes and credit card debt and anything you need to pay off and not save a dime of it. But you know what happens if you don't save any of it, where, what are you going to have to back up yourself with? Let's say you get into a car accident. How are you going to how are you gonna pay for that car accident if you have nothing saved? So what this chapter is trying to tell you is take probably around 10% of that and automatically put it into a account of some sort. So you will save up some savings. That's very interesting. Now move on. Okay, so in chapter four, we have to make it automatic. We have to take your say. See, the biggest problem is that when people say they're going to save, they don't automatically do it. They can take that 10% that they're going to save, and they can go spend it on a TV or spend it on, you know, whatever. What you need to do is make it so that it's automatically put in the savings for you so that you have no reason to touch it. So we're now about halfway done, but we're going to cut to a commercial break. Hello, I'm Mike from Mike's Auto Body and Repair Shop. We have this new candle at our store. Smells like peppermint. Done bouncy, 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 and then it's done. Please come buy one today for five, 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 and five ninety nine. Thank you. Welcome back. We are finishing up our interview with Mitch, who thinks he can make you an automatic millionaire. 
All right, so um, we left off at four. We finished just finished talking about four, and now we're at five. Number five is talking about saving for your rainy day, which other words is saying that one day that the most worst thing that could ever happen happens, you have money. So, for example, your house lights on fire. You don't do it. It just lights on fire. You're going to have money in the bank for that. You, that's, this is where the automatic savings come into. You want to have those savings there so that you have money for your rainy day just in case something bad has happened. Oh, I hope my house doesn't light on fire. What's next? I'm getting down to the nitty gritty here. You need to pay off your house as soon as possible, according to this book. We need to make either a big down payment or get an agency to help you, but you need to get that house paid off as soon as possible because it's a big asset to yourself. Oh, I have a house. What's next? So chapter seven, one of the last chapters, is about having a debt-free lifestyle. In other words, if you have any debt of any kind, credit card or whatever, you need to pay it off because the one without debt is a happy person. So how does it end? Pretty much how the book ends is it just tells you, okay, now you're going to start doing this. You're going to change your life now and make it an automatic millionaire. On this date, I'll do this. On this day, I'm going to start. And it pretty much just says, now's the time to save. Thank you for the interview today, Mitch. Now come back tomorrow and watch our show, where I have Tom Cruise on. Well, that sure was a fun interview. Wait a minute. Where is that dang book at? I've got my things, I'm good to go. You met me at the terminal. Just one more plane ride and it's done. But we stood like statues 